Jared Vanderbilt has had an uphill battle ever since he was plagued with injuries that nearly derailed his basketball dreams. Works. Rob, throw it down with the left hand. His comeback story is full of key changes that have had his coaches refer to him as the modern day Dennis Rodman, plus a unique dietary change to prevent future injuries. Number eight, Vanderbilt's early life. Now, Vanderbilt was essentially born into a family of elite athletes. His father, Robert Vanderbilt, played college basketball for Wiley College. His mother, Gwendolyn, played basketball for Xavier of Louisiana. On top of that, he has five siblings, two of whom also played college hoops. Now, we sort of feel bad for the other kids in the neighborhood when the Vanderbilt bunch rolled up to the basketball courts. We're sure that the best competition that Jared grew up playing came from his own house as he battled it out with his elder brothers and sisters. So no wonder Vanderbilt has a reputation for being a relentless worker and rebounder. He was probably forced to grab his elder siblings' rebounds all the time. But either way, all of that in-house competition sure did set up Vanderbilt to succeed in high school and become one of the top recruits. Number seven, high school star. We now know Vanderbilt for the six foot eight rebounding and defensive juggernaut, but he was far from that in high school. As a five-star prospect, McDonald's All-American and top 15 recruit, Vanderbilt was often compared to the likes of Lamar Odom and Ben Simmons. Now, the reason for that was that he grew up as a point guard. He was only five foot 10 inches before his high school career began. So he developed his ball handling skills, passing vision, and transition play. However, in high school, he had a growth spurt that was both a blessing and a curse. Vanderbilt went from five foot 10 to six foot four as he transitioned to high school, but from there, he ballooned up to six foot eight. Now you might be wondering where the curse part in all of this is. Well, because his newfound frame wasn't used to his quick and dynamic movement, which he had developed as a guard, it resulted in two different foot injuries. The first came in his junior year of high school and the second one in his senior year. He ended up having screws implanted in his foot to stabilize it. However, that wouldn't be the last time he underwent the knife because of his foot. More on that in a little bit. Now, despite missing so much time, he was still regarded as one of the best players coming out of high school, which is why he earned a roster spot on the famed Kentucky Wildcats team. Number six, college years. Unfortunately for Vanderbilt, the same high school story repeated again in college. Injuries kept him from having a chance to show what kind of player he could be. In the end, he only played 14 games at the University of Kentucky. He averaged only 5.9 points, 7.9 rebounds, and 17 minutes per game, far below expectations. The primary reason was that he suffered a left foot injury, which caused him to examine his gameplay and change his role. Before his debut, Kentucky coach Calipari told Vanderbilt that he would be coming off the bench and that his primary roles will be to bring energy, gritty defense, and rebound the ball. A far cry for someone who is being compared to Lamar Odom and Ben Simmons. But Vanderbilt's choice was pretty clear, adapt or die. Coach Calipari wanted his very own Dennis Rodman, and that's exactly who Vanderbilt became for him as he grabbed team high nine rebounds and had two blocks in 19 minutes. This change in mentality was further supported by his family, especially his brothers who encouraged Vanderbilt to figure out a way to navigate his injuries. Even though the injuries took a toll on Vanderbilt's confidence, he stayed positive with the help of his family and was able to pull himself up from a dark place. In the end, Vanderbilt had foot procedures done on both feet, causing him to be immobilized for up to six months. At that time, he was unable to work on his game and had to use a scooter to transport himself around campus. Now, despite all of these trials and tribulations in his first year at Kentucky, he decided to declare for the NBA with the backing of Coach Calipari and was selected 41st overall by the Orlando Magic and then was subsequently traded to the Denver Nuggets. Number five, NBA ups and downs. Because Vanderbilt decided to get the precautionary surgery before the draft, he fell far down the standings. Still, the Houston Rockets were eager to draft Vanderbilt because of his potential. The same goes for the Denver Nuggets, who found that the Rockets wanted Vanderbilt and decided to trade for him. This just shows that despite Vanderbilt's injury history, his potential was pretty clear. Teams still regarded him as someone who could have a big impact on winning. However, that impact was still a few years away. When he got to Denver, Vanderbilt was still rehabbing, so his first year was spent getting healthy and doing some stints in the G League. 
Part of the rehab was building confidence in himself and his body again. He had ended up losing his 40-inch vertical from his high school days and was still working on trusting his legs. Vanderbilt made his NBA debut on January 25, 2019, but only played four minutes. Ultimately, Vanderbilt couldn't find his place in the Nuggets roster and was traded to the Timberwolves in February 2020. And it was with the Wolves that Vanderbilt found a home. Not only did he earn rotational minutes, but he found himself starting for the organization in the 2021-2022 season. This meant a lot to Vanderbilt, as he said, quote, It felt great. All the stuff I overcame from injuries to not playing in certain situations. It was great to prevail through all of that, to become a starter in the NBA. It's a testament to the work that I put in, the faith I had throughout the whole process, just sticking with it. I had a great supporting cast around me. With the Wolves, he was able to show off his combination of athleticism, IQ, length, energy, and instincts. He earned a reputation of being a great defender who could guard all five positions, and on top of that, he became an elite rebounder, just like Dennis Rodman. After a blockbuster trade, Vanderbilt found himself in Utah, but his stint with the Jazz would be short-lived, as the Lakers looked to revamp their roster and saw Vanderbilt as a potential answer to their lacking defensive efforts. So at the trade line, Vanderbilt packed his bags once again and headed out to Los Angeles. There, he became an instrumental part of the new Laker roster that helped the storied organization get back into the playoffs and compete for a championship. Vanderbilt took on the defensive responsibility of shutting down the opposing team's best guard, while Anthony Davis protected the paint. Once again, Vanderbilt heard comparisons of Dennis Rodman from his coaches and teammates. His effort was also appreciated by fans everywhere he played. Number 4. Social Media Presence Vanderbilt likes to go by the handle jvando on Instagram, where he has nearly 340,000 followers. The gram is full of behind-the-scenes pictures and videos of him playing ball, and also some extremely fashionable looks. It seems like Jay Vando gels with the Hollywood lifestyle, as he's upped his fashion game tremendously since he started playing in LA. However, there was a recent controversy when Vanderbilt returned $2,000 worth of clothes after wearing them to a game. But we don't blame the young man for being smart with his money. He got his fit off and got his money back. Sounds like someone who will stay rich long after his playing days are over. Speaking of rich, let's take a look at Vanderbilt's contract situation. Number 3. NBA Contract Vanderbilt came into the league on an entry-level contract that was worth $3.9 million over a span of three years. After his excellent play with the Timberwolves, Vanderbilt earned himself a pretty nice new deal. This one was worth $13.1 million over three years, so almost $10 million more than his previous deal. This meant that Vanderbilt would be taking home an average salary of $4.3 million. And one reason why Vanderbilt might be playing so hard is because his contract will be up shortly. He has made enough noise in the league to let everyone know exactly what they will be getting if you sign him. So there will be a ton of competition from teams for Vanderbilt services. And that'll just be music to Vanderbilt's ears as more competition means lucrative deals, part of which he can use to bolster his off-court endeavors. Number 2. Off the Court one lifestyle change that Vanderbilt implemented in order to deal with his injuries was switching up his diet. He has been a vegan for several years now and has credited the diet change for feeling better and taking care of his body. So when Vanderbilt isn't balling on the court, you might catch him dining out at some of the best vegan restaurants in the city. Either that or working with his charity foundation. Last Christmas, his foundation distributed over 350 toys to special families in his community. He has also given shoes and clothes to those in need. So Vanderbilt is definitely doing some good with the money that he's making. Number 1. His Net Worth Vanderbilt's basketball career is full of setbacks and comebacks, but for the past couple of years he has been on the correct trajectory as he continues to have an impact on and off the court. We can see this in his paychecks as well, which have more than doubled in size since he gained some positive momentum. Still, he is lacking endorsements and has yet to sign a big-time deal, so we would estimate his net worth is somewhere around the $5 million mark. But as we said earlier, this figure is likely to increase exponentially if he can continue being the modern-day Dennis Rodman. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell beside it so that you're notified the next time we upload a new video. 
With that being said, you just watched us break down Jared Vanderbilt's comeback story and lifestyle. We'll see you next time.